Namaste, ma'am. I am Jessica A. Paderna, B. Ed. One D. This is my video presentation of the answer of every questions, and I choose the film entitled Witchcraft 1988, which happens in mother-in-law's creepy old house last November 1988. The character of the films are Anatapul as Chris Churchill, which has a disguised husband, Jen, and a mother of newborn baby named William. Guards loan as John Stockton or John Stockwell, a disguised husband of Grace and found later as a witch. Mary Scaly as Elizabeth Stockton or Elizabeth Stockwell, a fake mother-in-law of Grace and found as a witch. Next is Deborah Scott as Linda. This is Grace France and she is found in one room dyed cut head. Next, next is Ruth Newstone as William, the baby of Grace. Based on these elements, the culture of the film based its conception of witchcraft year 1988 in the United States. The elements of the film achieved its seminal depictions of witchcraft when Grace Churchill is having her baby, disturbing vision class in her mind that shows two witches being born at the stake. It is later learned that those two people are Jen and Elizabeth Stockwell, who are born in year 1687. The vision seemed to stop once her baby, whom she names William, is born. Things get worse when she and her husband and the baby temporarily move into her mother-in-law's creepy old house. It's her that vision start rhythm and all sorts of spooky events start happening around here, including the priest hanging himself in their backyard. The movie presents the concept of witchcraft when one night Grace sleeping in her bedroom in mother-in-law's creepy old house, she dreamed about John Stockton and Elizabeth Stockton eating a heart of a human. Then second, when Grace found father hung on their backyard. Then third, when, when she saw Linda in one room, died with a cut head. Then later Grace discovered that the two witches she saw burn at the stake are her husband and mother-in-law, and they claim William as their son. As the two try to kill Grace in a synaptic ritual, they are killed by their mute butler, leaving Grace to save William, her son. That would be all my answer to all your questions, ma'am. Thank you and God bless.